Dear colleagues, I have been receiving many inquiries and requests to share information about diabetes surgery with my fellow professionals. I understand this is a new concept and there is a lot of anxiety about its validity. So in next few minutes, let me try to explain the background on which diabetes surgery has been started and how it works. Almost 60 years back, gastric bypass was done primarily for weight loss and it has been done over years by, by surgeons across the world and we have realized that it works very well for weight loss. But what has been realized even more profoundly is the Im its impact on diabetes. While weight loss happens gradually over months and years, impact on diabetes happens within days and weeks. To the extent that majority of those patients who are going undergoing bariatric surgery and who are taking insulin before surgery stop taking insulin within days within days that means even at the time of discharge within two or three days they, they did not require insulin because the sugars got control and somewhere in 2004 questions were asked is this surgery having better impact on diabetes than on weight loss and is the impact direct because you know weight loss happens over months but the diabetes improvement is happening even before the weight loss starts and thus multiple studies were undertaken randomized control trials and other prospective trials to decide about the impact of this surgery on diabetes and after those publications somewhere in 2011 international diabetes federation the biggest body of diabetologists physicians worldwide came out with guidelines that this should be offered for those patients who are not able to control their diabetes above 27.5 BMI. This was published in 2011 and nothing changed till 2021 when American Diabetes Association came with almost similar guidelines saying that for Asians because we have a very high risk of diabetes at low low weight this surgery can be offered for uncontrolled diabetes and then it took another two years that in December 2022 the American Sur Surgical Association International Federation for Surgery came out with this guideline that we can indeed do these surgeries at 27.5 BMI for patients with uncontrolled diabetes so this is the this is the status of uh, its uh, validity of its applicability in patients in India. But how exactly does it work? Now there are various mechanisms. The most commonly cited mechanism is the early secretion of GLP-1 hormone after a metabolic surgery. Now this hormone is secreted as you know from the terminal ileum and in gastric bypass the food reaches there faster or in sleeve gastrectomy the gastric emptying becomes faster and thus the GLP-1 is secreted early. GLP-1 works centrally in the brain and helps get satiety or it works at also works at pancreas to reduce insulin resistance thus with in increased in insulin sensitivity the the glycemic response towards pancreas improve and they, they they are able to secrete more insulin there have been studies which have shown that probably the number of beta cells increase after a after a metabolic surgery so all the three parameters reduction of insulin resistance increased uh, beta uh, insulin from beta cells and increased number of beta cells happen after this surgery 
and that is why this surgery is now called the most effective therapy for diabetes. Now, not only that, there have been many studies which have been done to understand its impact on complications of diabetes. And you won't believe that overall, it has been seen that microvascular and macrovascular complication reduced from 50% to 90%. And the overall risk of a new cardiac episode reduced by about 55% in those patients who have a diabetes surgery or metabolic surgery. So this is the kind of impact that has been seen before this recommendation came in December 2022. And I think the biggest impact was on improvement in lifespan. It has been published that those patients who are, who are having diabetes, if they undergo surgery, their lifespan, the mean lifespan is likely to increase to about 9.3 years. Compared to those who don't have diabetes, where it improves by about five years after surgery. So this surgery is probably the most effective way of pro prolonging our life. So this was about diabetes surgery. Surgical technique remains the same as bariatric surgery, but the entire protocol, pre-operative preparation, post-operative follow-up, avoidance of weight loss, everything is different. And that is what at Vocard Hospital we have started with in this country and have been operating many patients from December 2022. Now this was about complications, this was about protocol. At the end of the day, the real issue is that these patients can have a, have a better lifestyle. Those patients, I am sure, Many of us have family members or relatives who are on insulin. Have a, have a very impaired lifestyle. They need to check their blood sugar three times a day before taking insulin. Then they have to check uh, take an insulin, which restricts their working pattern. Somebody is working in an office and it's a meeting time and they have to take a lunch. So they need to take insulin before that. Or if they are traveling, and middle of night they want to eat something they need to take take out their kids to take insulin it's a very restricting type of behavior this surgery if it works in those selected patients works beautifully and liberates the person from the kit blood sugar testing kit and insulin for a very long long time so i think there is no doubt about the scientific validity of the procedure I understand that it's a new concept, uh, it takes time to sink in, but I am available to you at any time, please, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll be there, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions about, about the disease, about problem in your family or friends or about any of your patients. Take care, have a good day, bye-bye.